And as requested, me and Joltik are here, guys, with the Pokemon May plush collection update. You guys voted for May, and we are doing it now. We're going to be showing off all of the Pokemon we got in the collection, from the oldest one we've gotten to the newest one we've gotten. And I'll give you guys a little hint about the newest one. You guys have not seen it yet. So we have a bunch of new Pokemon to show off, and a Pokemon that you probably did not see if you haven't watched every single video. Which, if you haven't, why, why not? Just why not? I would appreciate it if you guys do that in the future. If not, it's all good. We're going to get up here, show you guys the updated collection, and I hope you guys enjoy. Oh, yes. Question of the day as well. What is your favorite one that you're going to see out of this? I would love to know. Personally, for me, gosh, it's so hard to figure it out. I don't, I don't know. Probably one of the Oshawats or the probably the Pugiana, but we'll talk about that later. All right, guys. And starting off, we, of course, have my Build-A-Bear Sobble. Has a Build-A-Bear tag right there. I actually got this guy right before he was going out of stock. Actually, he was already out of stock. They were actually just getting rid of him for now. And he was supposed to go, he was in one of the bins to just kind of be half off. So I was able to grab him along with my girlfriend. I believe whenever she got Sylveon, maybe? Sylveon or Espeon or one of the bunch. However, I was able to grab this little guy and he is absolutely adorable. I don't really talk too much about Sobble, but I do love Sobble. I'm not the biggest fan of his evolutions. However, Sobble, I almost picked him when he first came out. However, his evolutions kind of stayed me away from it. So I decided against it. However, such a cute little plush. It's actually the display one they had at Build-A-Bear. So I was really lucky fine to grab that. And I will always have him as my little display guy. He's always going to be the display Build-A-Bear. Similar to how I have my Isabel up there in the future. And yeah, very cute plush. Next up, my mom actually got me this for a gift from Whatnot. She's a really big Whatnot fanatic. She actually sells on there as well. But she has a Piplup Squishmallow that she actually got for like three or four bucks, I believe. Very, very cute. Especially whenever Piplup was still technically one of the newer ones, she was able to get it. I don't know how she was able to get it for that cheap of a price. However, I will take a Squishmallow Piplup for free. It's very, very cute. Not my favorite Squishmallow, honestly, my least favorite. However, I do have some left for Piplup, so I might as well have it in here. And then we have another Squishmallow, that one being Teddy Ursa. I actually found this one in store at CVS. I think whenever I was picking up something for my girlfriend when she was sick, I believe that's what it was. I'm trying to remember for the most part. However, I just cannot for the life of me remember. I think that she was sick or I was sick and I was getting some medicine for either her or me. And we were able to grab a Teddy Urza Squishmallow. First time I had seen it in the store. So of course I had to pick it up. Next up, while my girlfriend and her brother were actually at some thrift stores, they were to grab me a Taz for my work collection. And as well as that, they were able to grab me this cute arcade Pikachu. I believe it is Toy Factory, if I'm not mistaken. Toy Factory, and I believe from about 2010, 2011. So this is basically a Generation 5 Pikachu. Still looks kind of creepy, however, I do like how weird he kind of looks as well. So a very nice collection piece. Next up, we have a Goodwill find, and that is the Wicked Cool Toys Marrow. Before, I believe Wicked Cool's toys branded with Jazzwares Create, just the normal Jazzwares. They had Wicked Cool's toys as the main distributor for Pokemon plushies, and this is from Marrow, I believe, from... <sighs> Twenty nineteen, so it's about Sword and Shield era, I believe, either Sword and Shield era or the very, very end of the uh, Sun and Moon era, which I think might be a little bit more reliable, because I think the Sun and, or Sword and Shield era is whenever they actually started doing Jazzwares plushies. But sadly, missing the ball. I need to get a ball fixed on there. Maybe I'll get my girlfriend to crochet me one, and I'll put it on there. We still need to do surgery for this guy. It's been a few months, but someday, someday you'll get your ball back. Next up, we have a gift from my girlfriend. We have a reversible Oshawa, I believe, from Tomy. Yes, so what you do is you have this little guy, and similar to some of the older Pokemon plushies, you're able to just kind of reverse it and reverse into a Pokeball. However, that is a very lumpy Pokeball for the most part. Ugh. I'm not a big fan of that. However, I do like keeping them out like Oshawa, just normal. And he is one of my favorites that I've gotten recently because it was a gift from my girlfriend. And it's always nice seeing a little gift. And then next up, I actually got all these bunches together, so I'm going to do them all together. Starting off, we were able to get a Carvana Sitting Cutie. If you watch my video about us going to Collecticon in Dallas, you were able to see that. I got this guy for about $15, which he's out of stock at the moment, or at least at the time that we had it. I don't know if they restocked him recently with the restocks. However, I think it's a very, very adorable plushie. I love Carvana. I love my Dark-type Pokemon, so I just kind of had to get him. And I feel like this is going to be a pretty good investment, especially because it was only like, what, five bucks or so over 
over the main price so more like four bucks over the main price that you would usually get for a sitting cutie and back then whenever the pokemon plushies were so much harder to get and the sitting cuties were always out of stock and they never restocked them it was very nice to get a new dark type in carvana and then of course we had ourselves a solosis this is a soda solosis my favorite purchase i think i got from this day it has the japanese tag and everything which is absolutely awesome i love that so much it is from pokemon center however it's to pokemon center japan so we were able to get the pretty tags like i was talking about super adorable soda pokemon plush this is my first soda i actually have i have a soda oddish that i'm selling however i just didn't haven't done that one for me it's not mine so it's not counting but this guy, absolutely adorable, and I can see myself definitely getting more sodas in the future. And then finally ending it off, I was able to get a Christmas Palmy from the actual, like, stall place, the place they were selling, where Lockhart, or I believe his name's Lockhart. God, is his name... I'm trying to remember. He's a Pokemon TCG YouTuber. He's helping them sell. And I actually got to meet Super Duper Danny over there. Same thing. So we've given this little guy the collective name of Danny. We're naming it after Super Duper Danny. We have our little Christmas Danny. And it is absolutely cute plushy. I love the little mistletoe on the head. And very, very awesome. Whenever Christmas comes around, I will probably be having this little guy out in my little areas. But we'll see from there. But dude, I, I think this is really an absolutely adorable plushie. So me and my girlfriend and a few of our friends actually went a little bit further in Texas to San Antonio for a Ren Fair. And whenever I came back, I had forgotten that I actually got a pretty nice shipment for a few dollars. And that was Litleo. I got this Tommy Litleo for like three bucks, I believe. Very, very cute. My girlfriend told me to do it. I was like, should I get this? She's like, uh, yeah, for sure. It's a good price. Get something in the collection. So we were able to add Tommy Litleo to our collection. I absolutely love Litleo. I used it on my first team and my most recent X and Y team. And even though I'm not planning on using it on my future team that I have coming up, still very nice to see. And I always use the female one. I've always used the female one. I've never been on the one to grind for X and Y for the female male Litleo ratio. So I've always gone with the female one and I like it. I always name them Azula. And if you saw my video about us going to San Antonio and you saw some stuff about that, there's actually one certain place that we went to and that was a Pokey Maniacs. And I was able to grab this absolutely beautiful plushie right here. This is Captain Pikachu. Exactly adorable. Oh my god, he is so amazing. One of the coolest plushies I've gotten this year for sure. He even has a doubloon. Doubloon? the balloon in his hat for safekeeping that I got from my friend as well whenever we were there in San Antonio for the Ren Fair. But Captain Pikachu is such a cool Pokemon to have. I love Captain Pikachu from the anime. He just has that really awesome energy to him and I love the face they gave him. I wish Build-A-Bear would give a face similar to that because if they did I would definitely get one of these hats commissioned or maybe even take one off of another Pokemon plush and put it on there because this is just the perfect thing. Next up, we have ourselves another awesome plushie. It's a Build-A-Bear that I've been wanting for a while, and whenever they finally restocked it online, I had to pull the trigger and grab it. And that is, of course, my Build-A-Bear Gengar. Super awesome plushie right here. He has his clothing on, which I'm keeping on for the most part. He even has all the tags on there. We have my name on here as well. We got Patu. So they always know exactly whose plushie this is. And it is a, such a cool Pokemon plushie. I've been wanting the Gengar for so long. Super, super cool plushie. And the cool part about it is if you click his finger right here. Gengar. He speaks. Gengar. <laughs> Gengar. I never get tired of that. That is such a cool Pokemon plushie. And I love the fact that it has a little speaking thing in there. First time I've ever done the speaking thing, which... Honestly, I could see why it's kind of expensive to do it. It was like almost $100 to get this plushie. But you know what? I will take it. Absolutely adorable plushie. Yeah. Next up, we have a Pokemon that's very, very special to me. And probably one of the more special plushies I've gotten. And that is a custom Poochiena plushie. An absolutely adorable Pokemon plush. I love Poochiena. I've done a whole video about it. But Poochiena reminds me of my old dog. And I actually have a past of using it in Nuzlocke, it passing, and whenever I went to go release it, it came back to me because it was only with a new cut. However, I do very, very much love having my little Poochiena here. Such a cute plushie. Whenever I'm, like, wanting a plush to sleep in my bed at night, I kind of throw this one on there. It's very rare that I do that. However, sometimes I just need my Poochiena in my life. And after spending so much money on it, I understand why I would do that for the most part. Next up, one that's more of a meme to me, but I had to get it because of the funny meme. Me when I see my girlfriend waiting for her and I'm kicking my feet. This is the band Presto Hitmonlee. Just because of that meme, I said it to my girlfriend whenever I saw this on Makari. And after that, I was like, you know what? 
we've both gotten a pretty good laugh out of it. We have to have this Plitchy in our collection. So after a little bit, I was able to send a pretty decent offer. Only got him for about like 10, 12 bucks. And Hitmonlee came into my collection. I don't have too many Band Presto plushies. However, with Hitmonlee, I'm glad it was. Also, very interesting tag we have. I do like the Band Presto tags where they kind of show what Pokemon are in the collection. And Hitmonlee is a part of ours. And then next up, we got our final Squishmallow in the collection that we've gotten recently. We have Clefairy, absolutely adorable. Here's that Clefairy tag for you. I've been looking for this guy for so long, and I finally found it at Walmart a few weeks ago whenever I went to go search for, uh, gosh, what was it? I forgot what it was. Oh, searching for a project that you're going to have to see pretty soon. Maybe this week we'll be able to get it out. I don't know. Uh, maybe next week we'll see. Uh, everything's just kind of being pushed back right now because I haven't had a chance to work on everything with COVID happening for me. However, this club very absolutely adorable they finally have them at walmart they have this and teddy ears so, so many teddy ears and go fairies it's kind of crazy thinking wow we had so many that we couldn't find and now everywhere you look you seem to be seeing clefairy everywhere which i really hope that same thing happens with meryl and dragonite i don't plan on getting meryl however dragonite i definitely need to get but yes we have our adorable fairy type and this is more of the better plush than the little clefairy that i have in my collection already that i got around halloween time i feel like this is more of a mainstay for me so maybe in the future i'll sell a little one or something i don't know yet and then next up we actually got four sitting cuties as of late we actually had a video a few weeks ago about it and that is dusclops we have chin chow we have car Vinine. And we have Corsola. I don't know why I struggle to say Carnivine's name. I think I was thinking Carvana for some reason still, after we've already kind of showed off Carvana. However, absolutely adorable little group of plushies right here. They are so freaking cute. They had the restock recently, and these are the ones that I've kind of been wanting. Chin Chow, he was just super cute whenever I first saw somebody else's collection of them. So I was like, you know what? If they still have them in stock, we're going to grab them. Thankfully, they did, so we were able to do that. However, I love Dusclops, one of my favorite ghost types. I don't know why I love him so much. He's just so funky. I loved him back whenever I had Pokemon Ranger, and I would play that a lot. Carnivine, I obviously love Carnivine super much. One of my favorites from the anime, especially during the Gen 4 era, for sure. Probably my favorite, one at least for sure. And we have Corsola, who was actually one of my first shiny Pokemon. I say one of my first. It was definitely my first shiny Pokemon. So maybe in the future, we'll get this edited to look blue. However, right now, I'm okay with it being pink. But yeah, we got a whole bunch of sitting cuties, and they are absolutely perfect. And then next up, we have one of our other Oshawa plushies we've gotten. We have ourselves the uh, Pokemon Center Oshawa. The Pokedoll, to be exact, I believe. No, Pokemon, Poke Plush. Poke Plush. We have the Pokedoll, but we'll talk about that later. We have the Poke Plush Oshawa, and it is absolutely adorable. This is the one that I had been missing from the Pokemon Center collection, at least the more modern age one, where it's like, what, Gen 7 and onwards, that kind of plush set. However, I finally got it for a really nice price as well, about the same price that I'd be paying at the Pokemon Center actual website. And it was bagged too, so we got to unbag it. It was just, whoo, whoo, amazing, and I was super happy to see it. Such an adorable little plushy, Oshawa. I'm super happy I was able to get it. It had been out of stock, and it still has been out of stock for, God, years now. Ever since I basically started doing these videos, years now. So, a very awesome addition. But, the Oshawa collection does not end yet. We still have one more Oshawa that we need to talk to right here, and then we'll have some more to talk about later. However, first, I'm going to talk about the Talking Tomy Oshawa, and this dude is absolutely adorable. Two Oshawats from Tomy in one video? That's kind of crazy. <laughs> but an absolutely adorable plushie. You can see how smile. I love that face reaction. More than just a simple smile. I do like my little V face more a little bit, but I do think the smile is definitely the second best part. He is absolutely adorable. He's also very huge. If you can't tell by the way he is to my head, super huge Pokemon and absolutely adorable. And he's supposed to have a talking battery in here that once you turn it on, it's supposed to probably make an Oshawa sound. However, even after putting new batteries in it, we sadly were not able to get it working. I am going to mess around with it soon, as soon as I can. I just haven't had time really to mess around and see if I could fix it. However, whenever we can, we'll definitely try it. I'll try to do an update video for it. But yeah, sadly, sadly, Oshawa has not been able to be fixed. However, still a super adorable plushie and definitely one of the coolest ones that I have in my collection. And then next up, I actually got this little guy similar. We have ourselves Palafin 
Poke Doll, and he is super cool. I've been wanting this Poke Doll for a little while after they released it. I was like, man, whenever I get a Pokemon Center Plus, she's I'm going to order this one too. I did the Sitting Cuties, but I forgot to order him, so I went ahead, got him because another Pokemon re released soon as well, and he is absolutely amazing. One of the coolest Pokemon dolls that I have in my collection. I don't have too many, I have wow. I think all of my Poke Dolls, for the most part, are water types. That's crazy. Dracovish, Palafin, and then another one we'll talk about later. But, dude, he looks absolutely awesome. The only thing I'm kind of like, eh, about is because whenever they shipped it, they probably had it weird. So, all the felt right here kind of, kind of, it's like that. Very sucky, however. Still a very amazing plushie and one of the coolest ones that I've seen for Poke Doll listening plushies. Very, very awesome. I want to get the actual normal Palafin plushie or maybe just Finizen. We'll figure that out in the future. However, this is going to be a very excellent piece. And along with the Palafin Poke Doll, we were actually able to get this Pokemon that I was talking about being a really, really notorious re release. And that is the Van Gogh Pikachu. With the normal tag for the most part, however, they do have the Van Gogh logo somewhere over. Yes, right here. They have the Van Gogh logo on its own little tab. That is very funny. Nothing else very special in here. Your purchase supports the work of the Van Gogh Museum. Okay, I guess I supported the Van Gogh Museum. Maybe they were a little bit better on their security and all that. It would probably be a little bit better. <laughs> However, we do have the Van Gogh Pikachu. Absolutely adorable. A lot smaller than I thought it would be. However, I do still like it. I love the little brush. Little felt. A lot of this stuff is felt. I don't exactly know what kind of material this is. It does feel like something you'd have on a chair, I think. So if anybody wants to let me know, that'd be great. However, this Poke Doll is super, super awesome. One of the coolest Pikachu plushies I've actually seen. Definitely one of the coolest ones that I've had, except for, you know, obviously the Captain Pikachu. They're kind of tied at the moment. However, a really, really cool Pokemon plush to have in my collection. And I cannot wait to see everybody else's collection that may have this little guy. <clears throat> and, we'll <clears throat> and we'll also see if he's gonna become more and more expensive in the years, because if he does, Maybe I'll sell him and maybe we'll add some actual different Pokemon to the collection. All right, and we are at the point now where we're actually having brand new Pokemon plushies that y'all have not seen in my collection. At least if you don't follow me on Instagram, TikTok, all that stuff where you kind of get more sneak peeks. In the future, I might be doing a Patreon where you guys can see my new plushies before they even come out. However, the first one we're going to talk about is this adorable Oshawa Poke Doll from Pokemon Center back in 2010. He is super, super adorable. Obviously, if you don't know, I love myself some Oshawa. You can see right here and you can also kind of see behind me. We're, we have a mess right now of all these plushies right now, but super, super adorable plushie. I've been wanting the Oshawa Poke Doll for a little while. Just haven't been able to find one in the States for a decent price. However, I found a really good one that wasn't as expensive to take out from Japan. I decided to go and get it, and he is absolutely amazing. Super, super adorable plushie, and I love having this little guy into my collection. More Oshawats. That's more the collection of Oshawats that I want to build through the next few years. Hopefully, we can get every single release of Oshawats in the future. But man, is that going to hurt my check in my bank account. And then the next new one who actually turns this whole video, even though it's been a whole video showing old Pokemon that we already have in the collection, this one little Pokemon turns this video into a Poke Plush living deck. So we have a new Pokemon to show off into our collection, and that is the Jazzwares Oddish. This little guy is absolutely adorable. Here's that beautiful little face of his. The little leaves right here are so cute. I found him at GameStop literally about a week after this video is coming out. However, a few days ago on my time, and he is so freaking cute. I've been wanting to get him for a while. However, first place I saw him was actually Claire's, which really weird. Whenever we were in San Antonio is when I first ever saw that they had one of these. Uh, you actually see it, I think, in the Pikachu video that I did, or Build-A-Bear something. I don't know. One of the videos I think I have, I have it of that absolutely adorable pokemon right here super super cute i i don't know why his legs are kind of like inwards <laughs> like that however i do think it still works and it's such a cute little plushie just a big old blueberry ball i always think of blueberries whenever i see oddish i i, I was gonna say i don't know why but you can kind of see why it just kind of looks like a big blueberry with leaves walking around so very very awesome plushie very simple i was able to get gamestop for actually cheaper the reason i didn't get it at claire is because that was like God, like 20 bucks, I believe. So that's kind of crazy when you think about it for a Jazzwares plushie. Usually they go for around $14. So I was able to get mine for $14, which I absolutely love. 
And I also really love the fact that you can kind of just head bob. He can head bob. Now that my hair is actually coming back longer again, which I don't know if I'm going to cut it, I can start doing head bobbing again. However, uh, super adorable plushie, Jazzbird's tag, of course. And even though he's not going to be shown off very much, he's probably going in the box. Still a very excellent plush to have on our collection. That being said, it's been so awesome adding all these new family members to our collection. I'm going to put all them back and we're going to end off the episode. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Of course, question of the day down below. Which is your favorite of the Pokemon that I've gotten recently? God, probably Poochiana, I think, is my favorite that I've gotten. However, just so many good ones to add to the collection that we've done. And definitely a few more that we're going to be adding within the next few months, hopefully. So either I'll do another update in the next few months... Or we'll, of course, have our 2025 update. I'm hoping to do, if we get enough, I'll definitely do a 2024, like, what, October update or something. And we'll figure it out from there. But thank you guys for watching. Let's put all these plushies back. And we'll actually show off the collection all together and figure out what we're going to do next. And we have them all back to normal for the most part. I am trying to figure out what I'm going to do with the liminal space that I have over here. But we'll figure it out however everybody is at least for the most part back in their normal stereo and i just want to thank you guys for watching like i said hoping to do some more in the future i uh, don't know what else to say besides we will see you guys next week for the next episode very very cute also one new thing i added over here i haven't told you about it celebes up here now laying down over here very very adorable but yeah thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next week bye bye